After years of some of the most aggressive tax cuts in the country, the so-called Kansas experiment has ended. Republican state representatives joined with Democrats in overriding Kansas Governor Sam Brownback's veto on tax reform measures. In 2012, Brownback approved cuts that dropped the tax rate to 2.6% for married couples who filed jointly and earned $30,000 a year or less. Couples making more than $30,000 a year paid 4.6%. The experiment was praised by conservatives across the country, including by then-Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. He said the reforms were, quote, exactly the sort of thing we want to do here in Washington. The cuts aimed to boost small business growth, but ended up cutting Kansas income tax revenue by nearly a quarter for 2014. That would have underfunded the state by a projected $900 million over the next two years. Eventually, the state Supreme Court ruled the school funding levels were unconstitutional. Now lawmakers seem to have conceded that the experiment failed. Even though much of his own party rejected the plan, Governor Brownback remained defiant. In my estimation, I think the tax policy move last night, but the legislature's a wrong move. I think it's wrong for the long-term view of the state of Kansas. I think it's wrong for growth. Starting in 2018, tax rates will go up slightly, though not as high as they were before the Kansas experiment began.